Should we do it in unison? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm Rosanna. And I'm Katrina. And we are doing Wardrobe for Carmela Season 2. Our influences when we were designing Carmela's wardrobe, I think in part it had to do with my misspent punk rock youth. Um, and then beyond that, I think we just started with season one and looked at her character, looked at the arc of character and the journey that she went through. We wanted to keep a lot of what she was, but we wanted to add a bit more edge to her and to polish up some of that edge without getting fashion-y about it, uh, ensuring that it was still practical, but had a lot of personality to it. You know, Laura has a bit of girl next door to some measure, but um, we felt that in season two, there's an escalation. She's starting to become more serious, a bit coming of age, and so we wanted to make sure that there's a kind of professional demeanor that came about, but we didn't want to make her stuffy. Um, we wanted to show her quirkiness, um, her sense of curiosity and investigation. So um, when we were Sorry. designing for Laugh, um, we were looking at some 60s mod influences, um, and uh, we were looking, looking at some uh, I, notions of identity and gender in terms of the wardrobe, but really wanted that real slick 60s kind of feel, crisp shirts. We wanted to play with a lot of different accessories in terms of suspenders and ties and vests and lots of different pieces. Probably favorite character to dress. Yeah. And with Perry, um, we were looking, you know, she had a bit of like frumpy mom, uh, which is lovable about her, but we wanted to give her a little bit of softness and prettiness, like sustain that, but also grow her up a little bit. And given what happens to her in season two, which is very interesting, we wanted to show that through the wardrobe. So my favorite piece of Carmilla's has to be the leather wristbands that she wears. Uh, the main reason for that is because they are actually mine from when I was a teenage punk rocker and they hold a lot of memory and a lot of memories for me. You know, it's debatable because there's a few pieces I love, but I would say um, we managed to find her um, a little sweater that has little black cats on it. And given the dynamics and what happens in season two between her and Carmilla, it's such a great iconic piece for her. Almost anything that Maddie wears. <laughs> Maddie is like sexy as heck and just yeah. amazing. Um, so I would say probably 40 to 50% of the wardrobe for this season has been pulled from our own personal stock. Yeah. Uh, beyond that, value uh -huh. village. <laughs> um, they have been very good to us this year. We got very lucky with a lot of pieces. I will mention though that we did pull some stuff. We had some local Canadian designers who um, right. supported us in the process. Well, some of the garments um, that we have Carmen, actually, the ones that are a bit more edgy and futuristic looking, it's a local Toronto designer called Plastic Wrap. And another designer as well, like all the leg bags and stuff like that is another Toronto designer. And they're called Sci-Fi Candy. I calculated roughly around 177 different looks for this season. I'm Rosanna. And I'm Katrina. And we are Wardrobe and so excited for you to check out the new looks that we've got going on for season two of Carmilla.